Welcome to the Humble Tax YouTube channel. I'm Doc, and this time my youngest son Caleb and I are headed out to the Six Rivers National Forest. We gotta make our first firewood run of the season. Got my permits. I love spending my days out there, it's so nice. So I gotta go get ready. So stay tuned, hang with me, and uh let's get to it. shed I built it to hold two years worth of wood so I can stay ahead of it this is all this year's wood if I pack it which means put extra stacks out in the front I can get about 11 cords up in this thing but so that's what we're gonna do I gotta fill these up that's a good I don't know, four trips maybe. We're gonna go out to the Six Rivers National Forest. The, uh, hold on. Forest Service provides 10 cords worth of wood a year if you go out. It's like 20 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. So, so I gotta get ready here. Um, stuff it's the only thing I run in my saws now although I've got a little of this left so fire extinguisher well, I ain't falling no trees I've already been out there once scoping it out and the Forest Service has already cut down a bunch and put it out on the landing for people like us we heat our our house with Firewood, it's just kind of part of the way of life here for a lot of people in Humboldt. But I usually only take out two saws. And I gotta sharpen up the chains here, so um, I'm gonna do that. First basically what I got here is but I normally go out right so my echo parts and tools and I go out with uh, <laughs> three different chains I don't know if you're interested but I use a full house full chisel it's is a 70 what is it it's a the XL, the organ, I love these. I got a skip tooth that I hand file. And then I've got a C83. I'm gonna grind these two chains, although my grinder's not the best. I need to get a better one, but I'll go out, I'll hand file this one and the one that's on my saw now. I gotta hand file my Echo as well, but bar nuts. One of these things that I need, I always take files with me. Where's my husky, little husky tool? Anyway, safety glasses, oh yeah. I've already busted into that. I got an extra one here, first aid kit. Gear plugs, gloves. Spray. Yep, I'll burn. Although, I go out to Mad River, it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, but anyway. So I'm gonna get to, uh, sharpening up my chains I don't like sharpening out when I'm cutting because uh, I'd rather be cutting and 
loading up wood than messing around hand filing Oops. hand filing my chain so I'm gonna get you set up I'm gonna use my vise so I'm not really a how-to person I'll tell you that right now I'll tell you how I do it how about that this is a in case you're curious it's a Husky 572 XP I love this power saw and use a little cleaning I have that in a CS Echo 590 and uh, this one's broken in I have not done anything with it I love this it's broken in I probably run 10 to 15 tanks out of this thing it's a 28 inch bar I'm gonna run it one more time before I flip the bar over I just like to keep it flip so it wears better it's nice I like this saw it's got an auto tune on it I'm not the greatest with uh, tuning. I'm learning. I'm getting better. But this thing, I haven't have to do anything with it. I've not really done anything. It vapor locked on me when I was breaking it in. So I put some, some heat in here. And I separated the air from the... There's a compartment in here where I put some reflective tape. I try to keep the heat off the carb and all that. It hasn't vapor locked on me since. But uh, I love this saw. You know, I get firewood, let's be honest, I ain't no pro. But this thing is efficient, so. Tell you, there's no rocket science to sharpen in a chain, although it doesn't really matter what you do to your saws. Because if it ain't sharp, you're wasting your time out there. You know, I don't like working harder than I have a right to, I'll tell you that. So, 7.32, and uh, I'm just going to get to work on this thing. You know, there's no special way I do this. I've done it so many times, and I'm still getting better, I think, at it. So, you know, I follow the line. I try to get the gullet out of there, and I twist it and try to stay at 25. That's really about it. I don't know boring that is but I don't count strokes I'm gonna have to just tighten this up so let's do that yeah man it's so important to keep it out of the dirt the other part of it is when you hit these trees that are stacked up when I go out there well film it but there's rocks and dirt in the bark man it just takes one wrap around the chain and you knock off all your corners here but so I'm just trying to bring my little hook back ooh that's sharp yeah I wear gloves I'm tired of cutting my fingers on this thing Well, I ain't no pro, but that's a sharp chain. Oh, yeah. All right, let me throw my echo up here. Get that one done. All right. Well, I ain't no chain sharpening expert, but those are sharp. This one wasn't actually too bad. I ran it the other day, and it's getting to that point. All right, I'm going to fire these things up. Get them warm. Ready to go.
Good to go. Go. Oh, morning. It's time to load up and move out. Get the truck loaded up and hit it. Do it. That's it. Firewood getting time. There's snakes out here. Yep. All right, well, let's get to it. I want to see blood in your eyes and vinegar in your veins. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it is. All right, let's get to it.
when that auto tune gets to kicking, I open up the muffler. That chain is sharp. This saw runs like a slapped ass ape. You know who said that? That's what Grandpa Chuck used to say. <laughs> he tuned up his boat motor one time and he goes, man, this thing runs like a slapped ass ape. And I said, what? It's my son, Caleb. What's up? What up? Beefy boy. This is you dig this stuff, huh? No, I'm, I'm dripping all over. Look at all this warm house right here. Warm houses. Let's load them up. It only feels like it's 70. Or so. I've only run one tank of gas on that thing so far. What do you know about that? What? I've only run one tank of gas. I'm not even done with it. I love that saw. 572 XP. <coughs> All right, well. I'm just stalling because this is a hard part. Who came up with the, the idea to park in the shade and roll it rounds down the hill? Because I'm smart. I don't mind working hard. I'd rather work smart. Know what I'm saying? All right, let's get loaded up. This is the setup. Downhill in the shade. And you got a little ramp too. Yep. Versus over there. That's a lot of good wood sitting over there. In the blazing hot sun. Let's avoid that if so. Look at these big old rounds though. They're 24 inches I bet. Some of them. Especially those ones over there. Get home and get to split and go sling some axes. Love it. That's the fun part. Whew. All tied up. Load one. Sweet. One. Oh, I got my map in there too. Give me a sweet. All right. I guess if it blows off, we got video of it, huh? Yep. Let me show it down here more. All right, sweet. Mark. Get it. Wait. Well, thank you so much for watching. My family and I greatly appreciate it. Please be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. It's completely free and you can't beat that. So uh, that's one trip down. We've got several others to make. So. Uh, just remember, celebrate others, respect yourself, because love is powerful, man. I'll see you in the next one.